This is 12 volt 20 watt COB LED, white COB LED. Each LED is 20 watt. In my next video, I will be making a 100 watt emergency light using 5 this type LED. The advantage of this emergency light is each LED is switchable. That means you can use 20 watt or 40 watt or 60 watt up to 100 watt. And all LEDs are with adjustable brightness which can be varied between 0 to 100 percentage. In this video we will be making a 12 volt 20 ampere lithium ion battery pack for that emergency light. So please subscribe to my channel for getting notification on the upcoming videos including the emergency light video. These are the batteries that we will be using to make the battery pack. These are lithium ion battery which is having 3.7 volt and 2000 milliage capacity. These are good quality lithium ion battery that I bought from an online store. The type of each battery is 18650. We are using 30 numbers of this type battery for building a 12 volt 20 ampere lithium ion battery pack. The BMS we are using is 3S 20 ampere lithium ion BMS. Since we are using a 20 ampere battery, the maximum BMS capacity we can use is only 20 ampere. The best way to connect the battery is by using a spot welder machine. But I do not have a spot welder machine with me, so I will be soldering. Before soldering, we have to clean the terminals of the batteries. The easiest way to clean the terminals is using a sandpaper and just scrub it. If you are cleaning the terminals using a blade or knife, then it is a time consuming one. Using the sandpaper is pretty simple. After cleaning the terminals, I will be tinning it using lead. Tinning means applying lead or solder on top of these uh, terminals. Now I will explain you about the battery connection. I have, suppose imagine I have three batteries. Each one is having 3.7 volt, 2 ampere. This one is 3.72 ampere, this one is 3.72 ampere, this one is 3.72 ampere. Okay, so all are same ampere battery. Now I am connecting the two batteries parallel. Parallel means the both positive terminal of these batteries are connected together and both negative terminal of the batteries are connected together. So first one is having 2 ampere, second one is having 2 ampere, both are having 2 ampere. Now the ampere of the battery becomes added up, that means it becomes 4 ampere, but the voltage remains same, 3.7 voltage. Now I am connecting one more batteries in parallel, that means it will become 6 ampere. That means when you are connecting a battery in parallel, the all the ampere or the capacity will add it up, but the voltage remains same. That means this one is having 3.7 voltage and 5 batteries, 5 into 2 ampere, that is 10 ampere capacity battery is this one. Now when we are connecting two batteries in series, series means each battery is connected back to back, that is the positive of one battery is connected to the negative of the other battery. Now what will happen is, when we are measuring the voltage across the two batteries, then the voltage will be added up. So the voltage will become 3.7 into uh, 2, that means 7.4 volt. But the ampere remains same, that means when two batteries are connected in series, the ampere will be 2 ampere, but the voltage will be 7.4 volt. If I am connecting one more battery in series, then it will become 11.1 volt that means 3.7 into 3 that means 11.1 volt now if i am connecting one more battery in series then four batteries in series that means 3.7 into 4 14.8 volt but the ampere will be 2 ampere maximum when we are connecting three batteries in series we will be getting 11.1 volt but the ampere is 2 ampere how can we increase that ampere in that 11.1 uh, volt? For that we will add batteries in parallel for the, so that the ampere will get added up. In this case we will we are having 5 batteries so 5 into 2, 10 ampere we will be having. But see the voltage is 3.7 volt. Now we I will add 5 more batteries in series and the bottom batteries are connected in parallel and the second layer batteries will also be connected in parallel. Now we, we got 7.4 volt with the 10 ampere capacity battery. 
Now when we are adding one more layer of batteries in parallel and then series to the bottom layer then it will become 11.1 volt but you know when we are connecting batteries in series the ampere will be same that is 10 ampere. This is the technique we are using to increase the voltage and current or ampere of a battery pack. If you have any doubt on this then please comment on this video. We will be making this battery pack in a cheapest way. Uh, before connecting the terminals of the battery we have to pack the batteries together one way is to ma make use of this double sided tape but I prefer to use this glue gun for fixing these batteries together
After around 18 hours of charging time, the battery is now fully charged. Now we can test this battery using 120 watt COB LED. My studio is having very high brightness. I am using 4 floodlight uh, which is pointed to my desktop. When I am connecting this battery terminals to the COB LED, you can see its brightness which is having 20 watt of power. So please stay tuned to my channel for the next video that is 100 watt emergency light using this battery. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.